folks earthmaster here jumping in on the live stream on this uh it is tuesday evening february 2nd 2021 is the date in about uh 9 41 p.m west coast time and uh take a look at the earthquake 3d globe there shows a, a pretty significant earthquake out there in the southern pacific a 6.6 .6 earthquake striking oh at about 9 23 so roughly about 20 minutes ago or so out there way down there we just haven't seen a whole lot of earthquake activity in that specific area of the world and in fact uh, of this magnitude there uh, in quite a while so uh, definitely kicking things up there on the uh, plate tectonic motion there usgs map showing the earthquake down here well, let's zoom in there 6.6 .6. southeast of easter island that's all they have it at of course easter island uh looks like uh roughly up here that's a distance it's a, a pretty good distance from the easter island area looking at some of the specifics of it uh, looks like there may be a tsunami system there we'll go ahead and check that out real quick that's a pretty good sized quake for that region uh, of course 20 minutes have passed now so what do we got i'm sure we got some type of updated information here from the uh, folks there uh, based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat from this earthquake, uh, which is good there. Right there, in the highlight. No tsunami threat. Uh, zooming back over here to the uh, information there. Did I just see that go up to 6.9? I did. Wow, okay, so it looks like they just upgraded this. Uh, wasn't this a 6.7? I could have swore it was. Okay, so upgrade from the USGS to a 6.9 magnitude quake. That's pretty uh, significant there, folks. No doubt. Uh, some, some major movement going on out there in the uh, Pacific. Let me double check that and make sure. Yeah, 6.9, look at that. 10 kilometers below the surface there, well off the coast of uh, Chile region by about a thousand miles or so. Uh, but once again, I, I want to double check this here, make sure that there is no type of uh, tsunami uh, issued. West Coast one, these are, uh, let's see here. Based on earthquake information and historic tsunami records, uh, earthquake is not expected to generate a tsunami. Okay, good deal. We'll go ahead and check out the National Buoy Center just to be sure about that real quick. Uh, there's a couple uh, ways to check and see if there was a tsunami that was created out there. Some of these would be in a flashing mode uh, or event mode there in the, uh, in the Pacific, but there's not a whole lot. <clears throat> Doesn't look like there's a whole lot around that region where that 6.9 just struck but uh, I think by now um, if there was a tsunami generated there would have been uh, some type of uh, issue there on the uh, buoys so good deal uh, I guess but either way definitely uh, some significant uptick there in this uh, specific area we had seen a pretty good uptick in uh, a cluster of quakes here check out this cluster here uh, south of Port Villa um got the fiji area up here but this is a pretty good uh cluster of quakes there in that region roughly about 10 kilometers below the surface all within the five range uh well a couple upper fours in there but the 5.7 being the largest you might have to watch this area for some potential more uh large scale movement there soon very soon potentially following this uh 6.9 that struck there off the uh, coast of uh, South America and southeast of Easter Island, as the USGS is reporting. Northern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The western part looks pretty quiet, folks. West Coast region. We'll go ahead and zoom in there real quick just to cover the activity in the West Coast region. And uh, it looks like there was a little earthquake up here. 2.7. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? 0.5. Hold on one second here. Okay, so that was definitely way earlier. That was prior. The 2.7 there around San Francisco happened uh, just a few minutes before that 6.9. I kind of look at uh, 
kind of like to look at some timestamps here. Get a, a bigger picture of some, you know, plate tectonic action there when you see like a, a small prior earthquake such as this um, before a big one, you know, far, far away. Um, I'm not 100% certain that this is any relation, but uh, just probably a coincidence there. Just striking out there on that uh, Hayward Fault there. Very capable of producing a major quake in a very populated region of the Bay Area. So hopefully that's not uh, not going to uh, pick anything up there. Looks like quite a few folks reported filling this 2.7. Uh, you can see all the responses there in the uh, Oakland, Berkeley, all that concrete jungle out there. Uh, definitely a lot of folks reported feeling the earth shaking below their feet there for this 2.7 that struck at about 10 kilometers below the surface there. It's pretty, uh, a pretty small quake for a lot of folks to be feeling it, but uh, nonetheless, it is what it is. No major swarming to report out here, folks. Um, we have seen a little bit of earthquake activity in the Yellowstone National Park. Just kind of zooming through this a little bit. Um, I got dinner waiting on me here real quick, so I got to get that uh, taken care of. The Yellowstone overview there shows some activity in the yeah, kind of in the east central region of Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it's going to be this activity right here. Nothing major, just a couple small microquakes and whatnot uh, in that area. Checking out the trimmer map in the Pacific Northwest. Major movement. Check that out, folks. This is very sporadic all over the Cascadia subduction zone there. Not def uh, Well, it's mostly confined to the Vancouver Island area in a huge cluster that we've been seeing over the past few days there. That's definitely been some movement up there. Uh, but looking over the last 24 hours, uh, you're looking at some spotty, sporadic movement here. Something I haven't really seen uh, too much in a 24-hour period. Of course, if we were to go back and, and look at the past oh 72 hours or so yes we could see um possibly some uh movement such as this but in a 24-hour period this is kind of scary uh, because we're looking at some large-scale uh full movement full slippage there on the uh, cascadia subduction zone down dip downstream of the north american plate so be on guard for that uh, checking out the rest of the Pacific Northwest here in the surface quake area. Of course, that has ramped up a little bit around Vancouver and into Washington. A couple of small microquakes around Mount Rainier and also west of Mount St. Helens, too. Notice that uh, both of those quakes are west of the summit area. A little earthquake up here around the um, Washington region as well. So. Be on guard, folks. A lot of movement uh, over the last 24 hours, and now with this 6.9 hitting out there, definitely uh, uh, something brewing out there. Good to be on guard over, uh, over the next couple days here. So, All right, folks, please stay safe out there. Have a good night. I did switch up the globe a little bit to include the plate dynamics out here. I'll kind of show you exactly um, the major plate boundaries, so to speak, here on the Earth. And uh, yeah, we'll try it out and see how it works. I know it's not the, the most beautiful globe there, uh, but it does uh, kind of pinpoint the uh, areas where uh, potential large quakes take place along those major plate boundaries, such as this, where this 6.9 struck here. So, all right, guys, have a good night. Uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.